Hello children, in this video we are going to learn the properties of LCM. You have already learned that the least common multiple or the LCM of two or more numbers is the smallest multiple that is common to all the given numbers. And you also know that when you write the multiples of a number, apart from the smallest multiple, all the other multiples of the given number are greater than the number itself. From this fact, we get the first property of LCM. The LCM of two or more numbers will be greater than the greatest number. For example, consider the numbers 2, 4 and 6. All the multiples of 2 will be 2 and greater than 2. The multiples of 4 will be 4 and greater than 4 and the multiples of 6 will be 6 and greater than 6. This means that any multiple that is common to the three numbers will be greater than all the three numbers 2, 4 and 6. And we know that if a multiple is greater than 6, it will definitely be greater than 2 and 4 which means that all the common multiples of 2, 4 and 6 will be greater than the greatest number 6. Hence, we can say that the LCM of two or more numbers will be greater than the greatest number. The second property of LCM. If the greater number is a multiple of the smaller number, then the LCM will be the greater number itself. For example, find the LCM of 5 and 20. Using the listing method, we write the first few multiples of 5. Next, we have to write the multiples of 20. The smallest multiple of 20 is the number 20 itself. And 20 is the smallest common multiple of 5 and 20. Therefore, the LCM of 5 and 20 is the greater number 20. Hence, we can say that if the greater number is a multiple of the smaller number, then the LCM will be the greater number itself. Another example, the LCM of 9 and 63 will be 63 itself since 63 is a multiple of 9. The third property of LCM. LCM of two or more prime numbers will be the product of all the numbers. For example, find the LCM of the prime numbers 5 and 11. Using the short division method, divide 5 and 11 first by 5. We get 1 and bring down 11 as it is. Now divide by 11, we get both the quotients 1. LCM is the product of the divisors. And as you can see, the divisors are the given numbers 5 and 11. Therefore, LCM of 5 and 11 is the product of 5 into 11 equal to 55. Hence, we can say LCM of two or more prime numbers will be the product of all the numbers. Following this property, LCM of the prime numbers 17 and 5 is the product of 17 into 5 equal to 85. And the LCM of the prime numbers 11 and 23 is the product of 11 into 23 equal to 253. The fourth property of LCM. LCM of two consecutive numbers is also the product of the numbers. For example, LCM of the consecutive numbers 9 and 10 is the product of 9 into 10 equal to 90. And the LCM of the consecutive numbers 50 and 51 will be the product of the numbers 50 into 51 equal to 2550. 